I've received representations from clinicians who have been threatened that their jobs will be taken from them because they have publicly expressed their doubts about the wisdom of the policy or indeed their doubts about the misuse or the concealment of data. We had that extraordinary scene of a nurse being charged with assault for seeking to liberate her mother from a care home. Could this have happened in our country? And then we saw those students seeking to effect a great escape from the Stalag Luft three that their university had imposed upon them. And as these enormities occur, instead of the expected rising chorus of protest, on the contrary, we're told by the pollsters that actually the British people thirst for even greater restraints on their liberty. I am appalled, absolutely appalled. These liberties, as we heard in the debate earlier this afternoon, were bought at an extraordinarily high price. So now, as we move into the vaccinated sunny uplands of release and freedom, there is a danger that the state has learnt a powerful lesson over the last few months. Namely, that the British people don't worry too much about their liberties and that they can be dispensed with conveniently when need arises. I hope that this House will wake up to that danger and seek a remedy.